Hello students! Today's live lesson will discuss international trade. Since I've generally covered all of the lesson learning objectives in previous live lesson videos, this live lesson will contain material from Chapter 4. The learning objective stated on page 93 is explain how differences in import-export balances, exchange rates, and foreign competition determine the ways in which countries and businesses respond to the international environment. International trade occurs when an exchange takes place across national boundaries. Table 4.1 on page 94 lists the export and import common countries for the U.S. To determine if a balance exists, economists look at two factors, balance of trade and balance of payments. The balance of trade is the total economic value of all products that it exports, minus the economic value of all the products that it imports. A positive balance of trade results when a country exports more than it imports. A negative balance of trade results when a country imports more than it exports. Money flow is a large concern here, as many dollars are controlled by interest outside the U.S. A trade deficit occurs when a country's imports exceed its exports. When exports exceeds imports, the nation enjoys a trade surplus. Several factors, such as general economic conditions and the effect of trade agreements, influence trade deficits and surpluses. The balance of payments is the flow of money into or out of a country. In other words, this is the money that a country pays for imports and receives for exports, its balance of trade, and this accounts for much of its balance of payments. Balance of payments also includes other financial exchanges. An exchange rate is the rate at which a, the currency of one nation can be exchanged for that of another. Exchange rate fluctuations can cause shifts in overseas demand for their products and can also change competitive factors. If the dollar is strong in relation to the pound, the prices of all United States made products will rise in England and the price of all English-made products will fall in the United States. The English would buy fewer U.S. products, and the Americans would be prompted to spend more on English-made products. The result would probably be that a U.S. trade deficit with, with England. It is important to note that the Euro is the national common currency for the European Union. There are two forms of competitive advantage, absolute and comparative. Absolute advantage is when a country produces something that is cheaper and or of higher quality than any other country. An example is Brazilian coffee beans. A country has a comparative advantage in goods that it can produce more efficiently or better than other nations. For example, if a given country produces computers more efficiently than automobiles, there is a comparative advantage in computer manufacturing. The theory of national competitive advantage has become a model of why nations engage in international trade. National competitive advantage derives from four conditions. One, Factor conditions are the factors of production, labor, capital, entrepreneurs, physical resources, and information resources. Two, demand conditions reflect a large domestic consumer base that promotes strong demand for innovative products. Three, related and supporting industries include strong local and or regional suppliers or internet industrial customers. Four, Strategies, structures, and rivalries refer to firms and industries that stress cost reduction, product quality, higher productivity, and innovative products. This video is an interesting analysis of building and maintaining a global competitive advantage in the cereal market. I have created a small check your understanding section similar to those available within the online presentations. You can check your answers on the next slide. 
Thank you for watching today's live lesson video. You can reach me via the Ask Your Faculty chat room or the email listed here. Have a great day!